Hey everybody, welcome to another Warhammer 40k Crusade Battle Report. I'm back with Owen from Game with the Cooler, and we're kicking back into the uh, Beyond the Veil, uh, into the Nexus Rift, and his Necrons are taking on Captain Trajus in another incursion mission, which will roll up from the mission pack, uh, show your armies, and then get this underway. It's after three battles, I've won one. I've lost two. <laughs> I think I drew one, maybe. I got three acquisition points left, uh, 60 supply limit. I'm using 59 currently, but I'll deploy 50, obviously, for our game. We're going to play incursion. Uh, Primaris Captain Trajus, he's got some upgrades. Uh, he got a heroic constitution and his Tracian cloak, so he heals and stuff. Um, he's played in three battles and he's got some enemies destroyed with seven experience points. He's worth two crusade points now. Uh, Apollyon, my librarian, is also worth an extra crusade point now. Uh, he has tactical expertise and a six plus for an extra command point, or I think it's a command point refund actually. Uh, my intercessors both have a crusade point now because they both have the service stud, century of service studs. So they always count as being in the tactical doctrine, no matter what. Uh, and then my ironclad uh, is also me in this list. My primary apothecary Acastus, who's gone up to one level, and he has the master of physics, or sorry, master of physician. He ignores a one. It was a failed out of action test as long as he didn't die himself during the course of the game because he's a master of physician. Um, and then I've got my Inceptors, who also have a service studs, they always count as being the Assault Doctrine. Um, and my Eradicators have not quite leveled up yet. I'm at 50 power, so you can see here, Captain Trajus, Acastus, and Apollyon, my um, three sort of like leaders. We've got uh, squads Primus and Secondus, my Interceptors, or my um, Intercessor squads, my Eradicators, and uh, my Inceptors. And then finally I've got my big battle brother, my... Um, my Ironclad or not. And his own 50 power worth of Necrons. What's your dynasty again? The... Didn't you make one up? Uh, yeah, free move, double obsec. That's right. Free the one that we always use. The one you always use. Um, you've got an Overlord with the Enduring Will, I think it is. Yeah, and, and then a the Nanoscarab Casket. So he, he only he reduces damage taken by one to a minimum of one, and when he re or regenerates, he heals two instead of one. Cool, and he's worth two Crusade points. you got a Royal Warden, a Technomancer. Yes. Uh, and then your uh, your two troop choices, because this is, I assume, a patrol, is a single unit of warriors, all with Goss Reapers, and one with flares of ten. And then an elite. And then an elite. It's the which is a Shard of the Nightbringer. Shard of the Lady Nightbringer. I like, I like how you made an anything Catan, so she could just be whatever you wanted. Makes me happy. We're going to roll a mission from the Incursion Mission Table and get five, which is going to be... Da -da -da -da. A page I can't get to somehow. Dominate the field. Mission briefing. Somewhere in this area is an answer to the strange phenomenon we've observed. Master your own fear, but we know no fear, and none of your forces to show them that neither these substantial to insubstantial terrors nor the enemy have any right to the truths contained on this battlefield. So mission rules. Rally to me. Players can reroll failed combat attrition tests with within six of a friendly character unit. And mission objectives. The progressive primary. Uh, whether scattered wells of no power, evidence of arcane Xenos witchcraft, or a zone of sanctuary somehow free from the Nexus effect, secure these sites and repel the grasping enemy from them. At the end of each player's turn, the player whose turn it is scores 10 victory points for each of the following conditions they satisfy. Control one or more objectives, control more than your opponent, control one or more objectives uh, that were controlled by your opponent at the start of the turn. So it's 10 for each one, for a maximum of 30, so it's control one, control more, and push someone off to control it. And then finally, advance and secures an end game. Uh, player scores 10 VPs for each objective marker. They control it's not in the edge of the deployment zone. And the victor bonus, um, the victor can select a unit from their army and they gain a battle honor immediately. It gains a battle trait of your choice. Make a note in the battle trait and the unit's crusade card and increase their crusade points accordingly. Battle zone's all set up. One, two, three, four objectives. These are the two territories, which are basically um, along the center line up uh, 11 inches and then down uh, 10 to the side on the other side, so it's 20 by 11 in. Um, sorry, 11 from the center, rather. So they're this point, and then back. So down 10 to the edge. So the corners of it are the centers of these objectives. Because we can see our deployment zones right on these objective markers. It's off right now to see who's half is who's. I got a four. One. So let's pick this side over here, and start deploying. I'm going to take uh, Extermination Order as my first agenda, and then A Nation of Fear as my second one. Uh, which means that I get to pass morale, and I get a two experience points for every mark on my no no fear tally. Floyd, so squad secondus, um, the inceptors, my dreadnought, uh, my ten man uh, in interceptor squad, squad primus, 
Captain Trajus, my unit of Eradicators, and then a Castus. And Apollyon is down here in between these two squads. Last from us, we got the big unit of Reapers, with the Royal Warden, of course, and the Technomancer. The Catan Shard of the Nightbringer, along with your Overlord, uh, and your other 10-man squad are over on this flank. And we're ready for round one. This picked is Protocols. So you've got... Two, five, three, four, one, which okay. is Sudden Storm, uh, Undying Legions, uh, Vengeful Stars, Hungry Void, and Eternal Guardian. All right, sweet. I'm gonna roll the Zeos first. I got a six. Actually, yeah, doesn't matter. Four, okay. three. All right, well, command phase, I'll get a CP and go to seven. Let's do a little walk over here so we can shoot some guns because we have to try and kill this Catan Shard in the first turn because if we don't, I think we die. Holyon's gonna run. Yeah. He's gonna go wait just to try and get range for a smite. I think that is the word. We're gonna head forward with uh, Mr. Dreddy. He's gonna go one. Extra, do I want to re-roll that? I don't really care. It's gonna go seven. It's the next to Napoleon. We're gonna sit still with everybody else and just do some double tapping, I think, right now. Uh, let's do some shooting. First, we'll spend two down to five to rapid fire bolters on these intercessors. Shooting phase, they will shoot again. Uh, and then we have anything else we wanna do? I actually don't spend those two CPs to the end of the round, but that's okay. Uh, let's go with one more, we're going to do Wisdom of the Ancients on him. It's going to allow us to uh, get the sweet, sweet um, uh, reroll ones on these guys. So I get a refund for his tactical expertise on a six on that one, which I don't. And I'll roll now for the rapid fire, just in case. I do get one back, sweet. So at the end of the phase, I'll have five CPs. The Eradicators, we'll try and do our three wounds on the Catan. So six shots, hit on threes, reroll ones, because Trage is underneath yelling at them. And then wounding on the turn of seven, yeah? So threes. Yeah, probably threes. Whoa, just one. Goes through, I'll do it all CP. And still get a one. Do I get it back? No, oh, I only get one per turn, though. Never mind. So one, one armor save, or one vulnerable save. Four plus. Nope. Nope, take your three. I might not get three. I get four. Uh, and I forgot my second phase, but I'm just going to throw a smite. Nine? That's D3. D3. Take two. And Storm of the Emperor's Wrath. Goes off on a six, we'll do it on them as well. It's a 10. Uh, so I roll a d6 for every model in the unit. On a six, they take a mortal wound. Nine twice. I get three. Yep. And then again. Uh, four, five. Three animates on those, which is sweet. Uh, but you can blow your orb at some point to do it if you need to. Uh, so we can't hurt. And that was my second phase, which I've forgotten. Uh, so back to shooting. We can't hurt the Catan anymore, so we might as well put these guys also into this squad. 18 Assault Boulder Shots on threes. We're rolling ones because they're within six of the Dread. Uh, so that's going to be six for the first roll. Try again. Eight more. Actually, I rolled ten dice there for the first one. Uh, yeah, nope, I'm sure to die. And then re-rolling ones. So eight plus five is 13. Five, toughness four, so winning on threes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, and we always count as being in the assault doctrine with the squad because of our Indominus stud, so minus two. Yeah, minus two. Sixes. One didn't fail. Five ups. Five ups, shrug it off. Reroll ones, because we're warriors. Because you're, yeah, you're more legion. Failed them all anyway. So you got one. Seven. Seven. Uh, then these guys will fire into them, and that's going to be ten shots, because they're rapid fire, because they sat still. On threes. No rerolls for them, though. And then force to wound. Uh, that's going to be four at minus two, because again, they always count as being in the tactical doctrine, because they're service stud. Nope. And shrugs. One. Nice. Uh, this squad's gonna fire into the 10 man squad because I don't think they can really see these guys. Fire into the 10 man squad. Uh, that'll be 20 shots. So 5, 10, 15, 19. One of these little blue dice has somehow gone missing. So I'll roll. And then reroll one. Uh, rolling ones though for Trey just being there. Man, he is everywhere. Uh, no, the, he causes it and Trey just causes it because I paid a CP for the draw to do it too. Mm -hmm. no, uh, and then one more die. Yep. Yeah, and it's a miss, but a reroll. And it hits. So the ones and twos go away now. Four, so yeah, strength four. And then minus two again because of the stud. Not great though. One, two, three. Sixes. 
And, and then, then shrugs. Fives. And then reroll ones. There's your legion. Two. It's all my shooting, so it's the end of the phase again, and they'll just fire again. The squad. So 20 shots. Uh, Trey just says reroll ones. And then one extra shot, which hits. So ones and twos go away. Yep. All these. And then it's fours. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So knock them over. Six plus. One second. Not and dead yet. Fives. And then fives. And reroll some ones. Not bad. So five die. And that's my turn. So some combat attrition tests. Yep. Uh, I think I'm just going to spend the two so they don't roll. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, do uh, you have tons right now, so you might as well. Down to and seven. And these guys, leadership ten, they lost seven. They're good. They're good. Lots of your turn. So it's your turn one. CP, Ooh. you get one. Yep. Back up a CP. Oops, that's CP. Uh, we're going to, my will be done, these boys, I think. And my aura is on. And I don't believe, is the orb now or at the movement phase? I'll score hold one, hold two, and that's, sorry, hold one, so I'm going to score ten at the end of my round, because I don't hold more, and I didn't push you off any. Right now? Yeah, it's in the command phase. Five, ten, fifteen are dead. Well, that's convenient. So fifteen, Uh They don't get plus one, it's just fives re-rolling ones. Yeah. Oops. Fives. Re Not bad. Ones. So we got three, three, three back so far. And then five more rolls. And then five They have to be within one of one of the ones still alive, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You have to like blob them. Yeah. And then five more rolls. One, one more. Two more. See, so well, half came back. Back one, yep. And then comes to kill. <laughs> Movement. Yeah. Catan. Goes eight. I go six to there. And then two more. Come to party. You're like, hello, humans. Well, you had your chance. Now we now we party. Because the My yeah, your your protocol. Mode. And then uh, these dorks are just going to move on to the objective, being happy that they're still alive. Try and hide a little bit, I think. We see like if we being can, alive. See if we can get out of line of sight. We yeah, like at being least you alive. have to move now. That's fair. Overlord will just aggressively pose over there. These guys will walk up, get within six in the middle. She walked nine? Nine. She should be two inches back. How far are these? It's 11 inches to the edge of the tile. And she needed to be 11 back from the middle, yeah. Okay. See. And these dorks are just getting, getting into the cover, getting some barriers. And to reap. And also we're going to heal some dudes. Bring back D3 more. Thanks With to the my engineer there. Yeah, your Technomancer. Uh, techno oh, I have a D3. Do it. Two. It freaks out all the 40k players because I think it's yes. D6. <laughs> That's only a 1 Owen. No, it's an actual D3. There we go. And then I'm going to use the CP ability that lets me do it again. See? I found that CP is because it should have been done in the command phase and then he does Got it again it. in the movement. It's fine, phase. just do it. It's no big deal. So I spend the. Then I get three more. See? And then I spend the uh, two CPs to do it. Well, so you've done it twice now. That is the two instances yeah. of me having done it. Yeah. Once in the command phase and then again at the end, the end of the movement phase. phase. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be this unit, because it's it has to be, a, a, like, only each can't unit can only be one unit. guy. That's right. Yeah, and they're too far away, so I can't do it. Too okay, far. got it. Yeah, because it allows you to do it twice, but it still happens in the movement phase. In the command phase. Well, no, you buy the ability to do it twice in the command phase, he does it twice in the movement phase, yeah? No, no, it's the command phase. His other okay. heal is the movement phase. Right. I'm mixing them up. It's, got it. It's fine. I only okay. hit it once. Sweet. That's time, because the end of the movement phase. Start throw some antimatter meteors at me. Um, More like shouting. Because I think what <laughs> his it. new ability is. The scary pillar? Uh, I'm very scary and you should be scared. Everyone's scared. All right. Um, so let's say like Gaze a scream. Of the Nightbringer. Uh, we're going to select your wizard. Okay. Because it's just select a model within nine. Um, 3d6 for each four plus, you take d3 mortal wounds. Sweet. Take d3 mortal wounds. Take three, wizard. Ow. Nightbringer. And then he's going to clap his hands with some cosmic fire. Every unit within nine inches on a four plus takes D3 mortal wounds. <laughs> of course. Robot. No. Wizard again. Yes. Uh-oh. He didn't die. He lives! <laughs> and then the unit of jump boys, they're fine too. I'm just picking on my librarian. I wanted him You don't to. like those mortal wounds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
they're going to use the secure, secure the six inches of the center okay. as an, an action. action. Yep. Yeah. And you can do, because of your protocol this turn, an action and still shoot. Correct. Without having a fail. I'm using... So shooting phase, these uh, Goss Reapers are going to shoot. Yeah, we're going to spend one CP, so six is to hit auto wound, and we're so, going to shoot these boys. Inceptors. Yeah. Assault two, range 12, so 10 guys shooting 20 times, hitting on twos because my will be done. So we do two wounds and miss three. And then the second half of shot. Two wounds and miss three means you hit with five. There you go. So five so far and two wounds. So that's three, three wounds. And then these are all hits and five extra hits on top of this. So 14 total. Guys. Strength five, toughness five on bouncy boys. You got it, grab us. Four. So we do three more, four, five, five more. So eight minus total. two. Eight minus two. Probably eight five ups. Okay. Uh, lose one. Bam. Uh, we'll have our technomancer shoot his gun. Uh, range eighteen, assault three, shooting at those same guys. Hitting the interceptors again. Hitting on threes, and then wounding on fours. One more minus two. One more minus two is a five up again. Nope. Our over. Passing up. Two ones left here. Mm. Rapid fire range because they're within 15 of yep. him. Relic Goss. So four shots from him. Also the Inceptors. Threes. Yep. Makes sense. And then wounding on fours. Nothing. Sweet. And Doesn't then. he reroll wounds or something? No. No. He lets oh, he lets him fall back and shoot. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. So we're on to charges. Charge. Uh, I'm going to charge your wizard and your dreadnought with my Nightbringer. Well, I guess we'll overwatch. Who wants to do it? Uh, we'll spend one to overwatch for the double, he double heavy flamers. Two heavy flamers, nine hits, strength five, so five. Wounding on fives, uh, one, two. Not terrible. Four plus, one gets through. Yeah, back to three. Win. Six. Oh, what did we make it? Seven. This is six, right? Yep. I don't think that's a one inch gap. And you should be two inches back, which puts you there. So that's a fail. Yeah. We'll spend a CP to reroll. Five is even worse. Rut row. There you go. So you still move though. No, I don't. Oh, you choose to move. If, if you choose. Oh, that's right. What game I think if you choose to move, you I, go. I don't know. Oh, kill team. Kill team, never mind. Sure. You don't move. You just fail. <laughs> kill team, if you fail the charge, you can move, but you just end up in the open. <laughs> Which wouldn't work. Uh, and then it's for me. Some morale check. Lost a guy. That's a four. We're good. So we get, an, uh, we get a counter for the initial no fear. Well, okay then. Uh, it is my turn too. And you're going to score 10, by the way because you have the same number as me. So these guys will secure the area for your agenda, which means you'll gain one point uh, of secure at the end of the game, which is worth an experience. Undying Legions on turn two, what does that do? Uh, each time a unit uses, uh, so what I'm gonna use it for is whenever I make a reanimation protocol, I can reroll one of the dice. Two. I'll go back to five CPs, because I'll gain one. And I think that's my whole command phase. Well, the Inceptor's gonna go, and they're gonna run, because they need to get the hell out of here. Uh, and we're going to, do I want to CP that to go 12? I want to go more than 12, we'll CP it. And go 14. Do I get it back? I do, so I just stay at five. And that's my one back for the turn. Go eight, and then six more, and we just want to be up on top of this basically. Not in getting killed round. And he's got two wins left. He's just gonna take a little walk over to here. Uh, you're gonna take a big walk forward, because of course you are. And you're gonna fall back because you're not excited about all of the dying you're you're doing right now. But you want to be able to see both these units. You want him to be closest. You're gonna fall back to here. And then I think do we start advancing? No, we just stay where we are. Um, and we start shooting guns. By that I mean having spike power. So starting with smite, which will be on the katan. Eight. So just one. Is it D3? Yeah, 40k. Three, there you go. Then we're gonna do Storming Emperor's Wrath on Team Reaper over there, which will not go off. Uh, I could spend a CP to reroll, which I will. I want that test to pass, and I still fail. Would have been nice. Uh, so, that's the psych phase over. Let's get into shooting. Let's start with him, and he's gonna toss mm, his heavy flamers into them and his missile into him. D6 heavy flamer shots into the warriors over there. Nine. Guys wounding on threes. We're in the tactical doctrine now. Uh, that's gonna be five at minus one. Five and up. Warriors. 
And nice. And five up. It's two die. All right, Hunter Killer. Well, we're gonna go with Team Murder Meltas, and they will charge up and fire into her. Because yep. obviously that's the that's the play here. Still not in twelve yet, so it's nope. not the plus two, but three rolling ones. So that's gonna be five. Threes. Three to wound. Uh, four in walls. Four four pluses or I'm dead. I'll CP one of them. Yep, might as well. Nope. And that unless you roll snake eyes. Unless roll snake eyes, that's six. Nope. I believe I explode. I believe you do too. Four plus. There's my four plus. <laughs> so everybody within six. Six. So D three mortal wounds for your dreadnought. Three. Uh, I can use that. D three for my boss. Three. D three for my character there. Two. D three for my other character. Two. D three for my unit. Two. Yikes. And he'll be down to six. I take, I take three. Done. For. Okay. Uh, let's do some murdering of the second kind. I forgot to bring a guy back. I'm actually just going to do the heal at the end of the turn. He just sucks a one back. I forgot about his converse throws at the end of the round, but I won't do the, the stratagem because I've skipped ahead too far. Um, so they'll shoot two guys into that squad. They ran. So their minus one is hitting on fours because they ran with assault weapons. We're rolling ones because they'll capitans there. And then a three swoon. Threes are misses now, right? Oh, please don't miss I'm so sorry. I'll check the foot. There's only five. It's amazing how I can say a thing and while saying it, mid-sentence, forget what I'm doing. Uh, three's to wound. <laughs> it's a five wounds. Five, five and minus two, because they always count as being in the uh, assault doctrine. Sixes. And then fives. Rerolling ones. I can actually reroll another dice as well, because of my protocols, which that's right. I forgot about. But that's okay. Three of them still die. Big squad will fire. And they've got 20 shots, because they didn't move. There's 10. Rolling ones, so nine, and then second ten. Rolling ones because the count. Can they hit on twos? Threes. Oh, okay. Uh, so six is fifteen. And fours. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the Centuria stud makes it minus two. Sixes. Nice. And then fives. Five. Reroll ones. And one other, two die. Nicely done. Hitting him with these fellas now on 10 shots. No rerolls here though, because we're too far away from the boss. Force to wound. Uh, just two, minus two. Nope. And then shrugs, yep. nice laughing. And I guess we do the two to fire again. See if we can finish these guys off. If we're taking casualties, I'd have to use them to do it. Is it worth it? I don't think I can kill you. No, it's not worth it. Our CPs. Uh, and then we will charge and go in with the big boy. No rush? Nah, I don't have a gun. Oh, that's right, he's your orb. I go 10. I'm gonna make it, so I'll go fight him. Boop. Attacks, one for the charge because of strike assault. He'll use his uh, Dreadnought Close Combat weapon, not his um, Super Murder Fist because it should be enough here. So hitting on threes. Rolling ones because of his paired weapons, and then strength a gajillion. So that'll do on threes. So four plus four at minus yeah. Didn't make it. So four damage because it's two twice because you're minus one. It's gonna lay down because he might come back. Might as well. Oh, I'll, I'll consolidate into everybody. Ooh. End of phase. You can try and come back. I get to fight you with all these guys now. Oh, this is true. Yeah. Get them, boys. Give them the boots. <laughs> Give them the boots, robot style. Uh, Warden has three punches. Threes. And then five. Tough as eight. One normal save. You're shrink five? Oh, that's right, because you're a. Uh... I'm a royal warden. Uh, I fail. Take a wound. Punch Down him right in the teeth. You did, indeed. This is going to Technomancer. Threes. Thus ends the Technomancer. And, and then the like Reapers. Three of those guys. We're not going to pile in on you. <laughs> okay, so it'd be just these two, I think, because he's more than half inch away from his buddy. Okay. Two hits. Nothing. Okay. Be the end of the phase. Try and come back. Four plus. The boss is laying down. These guys get a battle shock test or a leash test. Yeah, lost six. It's nine? Nine, eight, nine. They're fine. This guy lost two. He's fine too. Leadership ten. You're round two. I'm gonna score. I have not more. Yep. So just ten. Bank. Go twenty. Bank. He's back up a CP. Yep. We'll gain our CP. We're gonna use his bring D three guys back for two. See. Two more reapers will come back. And then he's going to use his ability that they can fall back and shoot. Yep. And then movement phase, we're going to fall back. 
I'm going to fall back. Uh, he moves 12. Is he the flying one? Yeah. 10. But he'll just fly over here. Just to be another body on it. And he can shoot because he fell back and he flies? Uh, it does give him fly. Please. Yes. And then these guys will just fall back. Stay in the line of sight? Well, they want to stay within six of the objective, so they got to do what they got to do. Oh, the middle, that's right, because I want to do an oh, action. Oh, because I can't do that again. You can't action when you fall back, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Well, also, I won't be able to shoot an action this turn either. So we'll just fall back. And we're going uh, this way then? And might as well hide, because yeah. that's how this is going. That's the way you just can't shoot you. Run away, can't my will be done, because our lord's dead. Catan died. And this unit's almost gone as well. There we go. Yes. Uh, that group of squad will shoot three, six, seven, and we'll spend so the CP to get sixes or auto wounds. You got it. Five, six, seven. Just do this twice. Hitting on threes. So we get two wounds, and then I'll just roll these two in right now. Three, three wounds. wounds. Actually, fives. it's on fives, yeah. No. So three, four, five. Five. Oops, this could just kill me. Come on, Dreddy. Okay, two. Down to two. Uh, no, he's not a venerable. Oh, okay. He's just uh, an ironclad. Your lightning bolt gun. Threes. And then fives. Nothing. And then one Goss gun. <laughs> Threes. And Fits. then sixes. Nothing. No. Rock Blaster? Oh, no, he can't shoot and fall back. That's right. He can only give it to somebody else. Sweet. Well, score. score 10 more. So it's 20 to 20 right now, and it's on around three. So what's your protocol now? Mm. <laughs> don't do anything anymore. That was, I think I get to like charge and do an extra point of damage or something. Got I don't know. It. Okay. Somewhere somehow. All right. Well, three. I'm gonna go to five CPs. All right. So we go to five CPs and we're in the movement phase. I don't have anything else to do. We're walking. We are the we are the sons of Gilliman. And now that scary scary Catan's dead, we can walk over here and be ready to shoot at some dudes. Is what we want. Hello, robots. These fellas will do much the same. Heading this way to be able to see that Lordy Lord. Or whatever he is, Technomancer. Uh, the boss will go with them. He'll continue to fall back because we don't want to die. Uh, these fellas will jump again, I think. Going. Uh, it's the end of my movement phase, oh, okay. so I'll, I'll need to I'll need to jump ten, which is fine. I just want to be able to see that Necron Warrior, so I think I have to go over to here. Can I see standing on this corner over here? You think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go over there and not break him, <laughs> and he's gonna go stand over there. You ready? He's gonna chase these guys because I feel like they're the thing that needs to get murdered first, and. He can still shoot other directions. Uh, and yeah, let's shoot some guns. Uh, end of the movement phase, we or sorry, the, the uh, yeah movement phase, we use a CP to bring back an interceptor. We'll bring him down, down a level so that we can use the rerolls. Uh, and I think we start shooting. We're over here, two heavy flamers into this unit of warriors. That's seven hits. Where's the missile going? I'm not gonna fire the missile. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I, I have to. Back it guy. would waste it. I can't. Why not? Aren't they within range of squad? They're not closest, are they? Squad of three, no. And no other characters that I guess that's true, yeah. Of. You can shoot whatever you want. That's right true. Now. Yeah, I'll put the missile into him then. There you go. So seven, seven hits into the little guys. Uh, five saves. Five up. Five up. One. Well, so on a four, because he moved, misses. Oh, he's a vehicle, so yes. it hits actually. Yes. And then strength eight, so threes, that doesn't win. I'll re-roll it. Doesn't move. Do I get it back? I don't. Down to three. These guys are rapid fire because they're ultramarines. And that's ten shots into the warrior squad. On threes. No re-rolls. And then fours. Uh, two at minus two. Sixes. Nice. And a five. Uh, then these guys are rapid fire. I don't think I can see them, so we'll shoot the warden, I guess. That'll be 20 shots. Actually, you should switch this and shoot the warriors and have him shoot the warden. T4, T5. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll do them into the, the little guy then. The Technomancer. On threes, rolling ones because the boss is nearby. Uh, that's going to be seven. Oh, sorry, there's another one. 
That's going to be six. And then again, rolling ones. That's another one. Nope. <laughs> That's going to be another six of 12. One fours. Looks like five saves. That's two sixes. He gets blooped. Inceptors into that warrior squad. Yeah. So 12 shots. I didn't, because uh, the one can't see because I went on the bottom there so that I could get the rerolls instead of mm -hmm. shooting with them. I guess he can split his fire, but I don't think he can see that row warden. On threes, rerolling ones. And then on fours, T5. Again, strength five. Uh, one, two, three, on four, three? five. Three is strength five? He's tough as five. Oh, you're shooting him. I thought you were shooting him. You said oh, sorry, threes. him. That is threes. Yeah, yeah, sorry, the warriors. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Six? Uh, six, yeah. Dead. I guess I got my reroll. He's super dead. <laughs> okay. Almost makes it? No. <laughs> I can just shoot the warden six times on threes. Rerolling ones. And threes. strength eight, so threes. Zero. Uh, have I rerolled anything with the CP yet? Uh, you rerolled the rocket. Yes. So, no. Okay. So he lives a heavy pistol at him. <laughs> uh, I'll use two to shoot again with Dang. heavies. Yeah, the big intercessor squad into the the dude. Why not? On threes. We're going one. And then that's eight again. We're going ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so five it's on now. fives. One, two, and then eight more. Three at minus two. You might live. Sixes. You lose one. by one. George. Get him. You could kill me. We'll try. Let's do it, boys. Let's Overwatch. Roll. Yeah, I got two wounds left. Oh, there's five there. You got it. Ten shots. Sixes. Oh, so close. Fives. Does it. Six up. Nope. Take a wound. Down to one. Man. Do I get in? I do. We'll go. Hrah. Actually, it was AP3 because I hit you on a six. It was AP3? I had a six to save then, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so five attacks. Oh, and my frog auto launchers. When I charged, so you would have taken mortal wounds or not been able to overwatch. Uh, and I forgot to do it, so my assault launchers get wasted. Uh, that's going to be four hits, five hits because I have two close count weapons, and then two to wound. Uh, one, two, three, four. I could re-roll this. I will. I do. So five at minus three. Yeah, wake up. One, one doesn't die. See, down to one. Once I get it back on the six, I do. Back to two. This turn already. Never mind. <clears throat> Play back. Kill me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> and then your morale check. Last uh, six. Oh, and three. I'm gonna score. I have more because I'm not on there, so I'm going to get 20 this turn and go to 40. Ball hack. Gain a CP. Hold it. Yeah, might as well. You might kill the dread. If I can get within 15 of you, I will. I don't think he is. <laughs> I think he can. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Finish him off. Fire. Three hits. They do it. Fives. One. One. Minus, Minus two. two. So five, six. Do I, uh, yeah, might as well. Kind of done. Huh. Nope. Do I explode? No. Do I get my CB back? Yes. Oh, it's the Two. same round? Oh, it's the same round. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I don't explode, so I'm dead. Huh. Done. And that's round. On to four. Uh, let's start the scam phase to get one. And then it's movement. We start moving forwards with the boss. Just want to be able to see everywhere. Move forward with these guys. Uh, he'll come forward and run actually. Go one. So he'll go seven. He just wants to be able to get within 18 of this guy. There. I can just go this way actually. And go to there. Uh, jumpy jumpers. We'll just jump to be able to see everybody. 
Let's jump over here so they can all see him. He'll walk over next to the Eradicators. These will Hadouk in him. M5, he's gone. Uh, we'll s can't see him, so I can't storm him. Uh, we'll Assault Pistol him. Just, With Assault Just pistols. use the Eradicators. <laughs> Fine, Eradicators it is. And threes. No save. <laughs> there you go, that many minus four. <laughs> four plus, he comes back. No. no. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and that's going to be game. And I'll score up to... 20 more. Uh, 30 more, actually, because... Oh, I didn't take one from you, so I can't I can't get the extra one. So I'm going to go to 60. And then we go to endgame. Attrition for this unit. Does he suffer anything bad? He does, but my librarian says no. Catch him up. <laughs> uh, and say he's okay. No battle scar. Vehicle and beast units, actually. So because he's a vehicle, he will not be able to be physiology. Even the guy inside gets ripped up. Uh, so on a one... He gets either a Devastating Blur or a Battle Scar. So I can lose D6 experience and can't gain any from the battle or gain one Battle Scar. For vehicle units, I can have like a faulty <laughs> engine, weakened armor. I'll just lose D6 experience points. That sounds better. Lose two. Two, so he's going to go to zero and he can't gain any of this game because they have to rebuild his engine. Good action tests for your Catan and your remaining units. And everybody. So Catan. Catan. No. Nope. Laughs. 20 man. 10 man. Big boss. Gun boss, wizard. Yeah. Here you go. At the end of a battle, each unit that has a crusade card that was part of your army list gets some experience. You get one for everybody. Uh, do his death, get an experience point for every unit, every third unit you destroy in total. So you don't get any necessarily for that one. Mark for greatness. You can pick a unit that gets three experience points automatically uh, for being marked, and then that's it. Gators leveled up this game. We got to six. They're gonna get battle tested as their battle honor, um, and that means that they get a free. Um, Obsec and they can perform actions and shoot without the action failing. We're gonna take a crusade relic as our battle honor and give it to Trajus And he's gonna get uh, an artificer relic um, So he is basically allowed to have a core one because he's not heroic yet He can't have a paragon blade or something. We're gonna give him the adamantine queer So he's plus one wounds and toughness. So he's plus two wounds and plus one toughness. He's toughness five now the battle trait where they come back to life once for free, so it's called... Undying Remnants. Undying Remnants. This is the big 20-man warrior squad. Yep. So they go up to one crusade point. Yep. And become... Um, Undying. Actually, sorry, what's their power level for a 20-man squad? Well, So it's actually two crusade points, because they're a big unit. Because it goes up in value the bigger you are. He gets one six per reanimation protocol, so it means every time that unit gets shot at, one guy comes back, no matter what. Every time I use the orb, yeah. every time... That's a sweet ability. All kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's worth two, because you're a big unit. So we got into the game, Trajus getting another battle honor, the cool Adamantine Quiris, and of course some of the warriors in Owen's army becoming more experienced. We'll see you for more Warhammer 40k Crusade in the future, as Captain Trajus, of course my Death Watcher army is going to be jumping around too, and so is Owen's Eldar. Till then I'm Ash, I'm more gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Grid Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.